coaches, and then uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's in the water or uh, you know, if it's something that Dukakis did. But uh, we can never win Westminster. The last time a Boston Terrier won Westminster was in 1918. What happened two years later gave birth to what is now known only as the curse. Some guys sold that terrier off. What happened was they crossbreeded it with a Yorkshire. I don't think I have to tell you. Yorkshire, York, New Yorkie, and we haven't won since. Since 1920, the Boston Terriers had to watch the Yorkie capture title after title. Well, he can only reflect upon a few close chances. He almost had it in 1975, before the Irish setter dubbed the Big Red Machine stepped on his tail. But it was 1986 that stands as the defining moment. It's close to the final round, and um, they go to the tennis ball competition, and the ball goes right up to a uh, Boston Terrier. He's got it, and it goes right between all fours. We, we couldn't believe it. He never missed a ball. I mean, he was a little rickety, you know? He had, he had bad knees, this fella, but he was solid. And uh, that was it, we lost. Fired in despair, along with legions of Boston Terrier fans, Art Farber has set out to single-handedly reverse the curse. What I did was I went out, quit my job. I was selling fake IDs in Harvard Square to uh, college kids, a lot of, a lot of Asian kids. They uh, come into town because they're wicked smart. Went down to the shelter and I found Buster. We went home and I started grooming him ever since. And I still sell fake IDs a little bit on the side, you know what I mean? You know, just to get by. Go get him, Buster! Get it! Get it, Buster! Get it! The other thing about Buster that's pretty cool is uh, he talks to me. He'll talk to me. He's not going to talk today because he doesn't talk in front of other people. But when we're alone, he's very funny. We're not ready for the best in show right now, you know? But in a couple years, we're going to do it. And we're going to be best in show. Uh, best in frickin' show, fella. You could take that to the bank with you. You could tell all of Boston, I father said so. Well, I don't know about you, but I got a lot out of that piece. I did too, and check this out. I got this wicked fake ID from Art. Say hello to Alex Takinawa. Dude, Rand, you do not need a fake ID. You're 31 years old. Okay, first of all, it's Alex, all right? And second of all, we'll see who's laughing in three years when I'm a member of the AARP, fool. All right, stay with us for the exciting conclusion of the 1990 International Kennel Club of Chicago Dog Show. All right, I'm talking mad money off all cafeteria-style eating facilities. It says you're a Korean war... What? Korean war veteran? Yes. that Ann Rogers Clark handled three poodles to the Westminster Best in Show victories in 1956, 1959, and 1961. Do you care that she has been picked as Judge of the Year on three different occasions and Dog Writer of the Year once? Do you care that one of the dogs Clark bred, Surrey Spice Girl, won Best in Show at Westminster in 2002? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't that dog crossbreed with David Beckham's poodle? No, Franz Beckenbauer's German Shepherd. Ah! All right, we're going to take you back out for Best in Show, which is basically a showcase showdown battle royale of all the best from each of the classes. And the only thing fixed are the dogs themselves. Let's get to it! Siberian Husky is a sled dog. Look at how gold her coat is. you got to eat a lot of eggs to get your dress that shiny. Heavy freighting loads. Trailing tail is... Check out the snow dog. Yeah, even he hates Cuba Gooding Jr. now. There's best in show from last year. The, after the bald guy in the suit. Very regal dogs. Uh, aloof. I heard that dog was a rescue. They found him in a cave in Tora Bora. Yeah, and when they asked him to shave off that little chin hair, he refused for religious reasons. All, all are indicative of the Afghan. Take him straight down and back, please. You take him down and back, Pimlet. You do it. I'm running in a suit. I'm running in a suit. Who are you, Tom Green? No, dude. I'm still on the air. It emulates his dog. Well, they always say that people resemble their dogs. Yeah, but they really only say that about ugly people. Mary Burke showing her golden retriever. All right, let's see what's going on in the trunk. I'm talking to her after the judgment. Dude, you're eating my hand. You're eating my hand. You're literally chewing off my fingers. 
It's a breeder, owner, and handler of this dog. Uh, Jerry to... Krause looks riveted. That dog doesn't have any legs. Just hovers above the ground like that little magician from He-Man. It looks kind of like the scrubbing bubbles, guys. Totally. Know that they're into the final part of this, and their hearts are thumping mild wildly. Is it mildly or wildly? Ooh, sparkly. Her mind as she goes over to enter her book. Uh, I'll have the spicy tuna roll and the salmon sashimi. Let's look over her shoulder. She's marking the golden retriever. Did they just announce the winner? Whatever minimal suspense there was now, now is completely back. gone. Trophies. Okay. And see the and now they're showing us the winner before it's announced? Have these people not heard of suspense? Look, everyone's gone. Yeah, well, they already told us who won. Now she's just toying with him. She already knows who won. She's on some Jeff Probst power trip. The moment is now. No, the moment was 30 seconds ago. And there it is, the Golden Retriever, best in show. Oh, my God. The Golden Retriever won. I did not see that coming. Mary, obviously you're tickled, but I want to Is Ann Rogers Clark like 6'10"? She's more like Keon Clark. I was very impressed with it. It was a lovely quality lineup. And, I and the winning dog gets to drink from that cup for a year. No, no, it's like the Stanley Cup. It goes around to every kennel that that dog's ever been to for the year. He couldn't be denied his condition. It's movement. Well, I love this dog more than my own children. And who wouldn't? I mean, just look at him. Well, you couldn't tickle me anymore because... But if you'd like to try, I'm staying in room 360 at the airport, Mary. And then he won the group under me tonight. And to have your own, have your dog go best in show is very thrilling. You have Run. Run like the wind, woman. Good luck for you. Okay, can we go back to that shot of the depressed guy in the crowd? Yeah. What did this guy do to his wife that made her drag him here? Did he, A, wear a Bulls jersey to her sister's wedding, which, for the record, it did say black tie optional, or B, mistakenly record 60 minutes over the series finale of Moonlighting, C, leave their son at the mall, or D, both A and C? Ah, the answer's D, both A and C. Ah, I always get it wrong. Me too. All right, when we come right back, we'll switch gears and watch some cheers. More cheap seats after this break. I thought it would have been... I always get it wrong. I thought it would have been B. I never get it wrong. Welcome back to Cheap Seats. Ready? Let's go. All right, we've got one more segment of Cheap Seats left, so let's really hear it out there. Yeah! Cheap Seats! Nice bump, baby! Yeah! yeah! Cheap yeah! Seats! Yeah! 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 Woo! Woo! Here's the University of Egypt, Cairo and here's Tech. defending champion Memphis State University. Or Memphis State. They have an enormous Bedouin population. I heard that. Wow, this was back when Memphis still had its state. Back to the Penny Hardaway days. Shout out to Keith Lee. Oh, nice splittage, right? Rand, what, what are you doing? Uh, just uh, filing that under moves that I'd never be able to do. Ugh, this is kind of getting boring. It's just the same thing over and over. Whoa, I'm interested. Yes, get used to that movement, because most of you will be waiting tables next year. Wow, that last girl's really close to the curtain. She's fine. She's nowhere near it. Ow, my head. All right, this is boring. We got to fast forward. Uh, Laura, what are you doing? We nixed that whole part. You got to start coming to rehearsals. Guess who the choreographer's daughter is? Should they be mad while they're doing this? Hey, why did the audience suddenly start screaming? Did A.C. Slater just walk in? Quitting time! Well, thank God that's over. I gotta go to the bathroom. 
And now on to the totally superfluous mascot competition.